I rode shotgun in the lead Humvee, and I looked for bombs. Stop the truck. You don't see the bomb unless they want you to. What you got? I don't see nothing, man. You don't see it. He feels it. The gift that we're given is to actually, you know, meet and share it with the people who it's about. And in this case, that was uh, extremely special because everybody was involved. Solo, Adam, uh, Amanda Doster, <clears throat> they were all on set and all part of, uh, of the story and helping us and helping each of the actors with, uh, you know, the backstory. So to just get to know them, to have that be humanized and be real for all of us was, uh, you know, again, something really special. I was a good soldier. I had purpose and I loved it. You kicked some ass over there? Yeah. Yeah, man. Every opportunity we had to include vets, we did, whether it was on the crew or extras or, you know, at the VA or any scenes. And then even when we were scouting, uh, without even uh, trying to, you know, we made an effort to include vets and do it as uh, authentically as possible, especially when we were in the VA. An Army Achievement Medal? Impressive. You never told me you were a hero. Don't spare me the details. I can take anything but quiet. The boot camp was something that we put on the calendar, and we knew we wanted the guys to go through it, and we knew we wanted them to uh, experience it, to understand it, to go through the physicality, to go through the bond. But what we found that it did, in addition to all that, is that it just created a inner strength, kind of a heart that it gave them that was, you know, beyond the physical training or the understanding of how to do things. It really gave them the emotional character on top of everything else. Thank you for looking after my son. I'm not a hero. We're brothers. We look after each other.